Okay, hello, it's me, Jacob. I'm here with your Omnis Reddit report for February 2nd, Groundhog's Day. Now, here's the situation. The fancy weathermen on the TV, they got all sorts of fancy computers and the Doppler radar machine, and they can see what for storms are coming and when it's gonna make down, but that's not what they use to tell if spring's coming or not. You know what they use? A groundhog! <laughs> ah, I see, get out of here! They don't use the fancy computers, no. Now, it's actually old Pennsylvania Dutch folklore if the groundhog comes up out of his hole on February 2nd and if the sun's shining and he sees his shadow, well, there's gonna be six more weeks of winter. He goes back down the hole and hibernates for a while. But if he comes up out of the hole and he don't see his shadow because it's cloudy, well then, that means spring's coming. It always wondered me. He could see when it's gonna be spring, but he couldn't see a 22 bullet coming towards his head. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, see. Now, don't get your panties in a bunch. Them groundhogs, they do a terrible mess on the hay fields, and they're hard on the horse's legs. You know what I mean? So there's whistle pigs out there, and we try and you know take care of them when we can. Speaking of which. I just heard from my neighbor that the Italian cousin of Punxsutawney Phil out there in New Jersey, he died right before it was time to do the weather report there on Groundhog's Day in New Jersey. I see. I don't even know his name. He's, you know, Italian probably from New Jersey there. He's probably like, hey, I'm a groundhog. Forget about it. And all of a sudden he just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's a, that's a situation there. Now, I just want to let you know, they don't got no suspects, but they did say there was a man that looked like an Amish man driving a minivan that was seen in that area, and he had a 22 rifle with him, but <laughs> okay, but I was here, and besides, Amish aren't supposed to drive, but I'm a terribly good shot with the 22. Anyways, back to the Groundhog's Day. So here's the situation. I don't understand why they don't use the fancy Doppler machine radar on the TV. Instead, they take a groundhog and they pull the old missile pig out of the cage and they take a spotlight and shine it in his face. And they say, hey, did he see his shadow? Well, of course he didn't see his shadow. You got a spotlight in his eyes. All he saw was the headlights there. He's like, hey, what's going on? But it's dark out, and they put a spotlight there. Well, there's gonna be a shadow, so there's gonna be six more weeks of winter. It don't take no meteorological scientist, man, to tell you, hey, guess what? We're gonna have six more weeks of winter. The calendar says so anyways. It's February. <laughs> you know what else I was thinking, Bob? I don't know if beavers and groundhogs are related, but I kind of think of groundhogs like the Dollar General version of a beaver. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, he just ain't quite as good. He don't got a big fancy tail. His teeth aren't quite as strong. He's just like the cheap version of a beaver. Okay, well, I got to get out of here and get back to trying to figure out my neighbor's Wi-Fi password so I can make some YouTube videos and make some dances on the TikTok machine. So, and by the way, if you hear anything about who shot that groundhog out there, well, we don't know he was shot. If you hear how that groundhog died out there in New Jersey, I'd like to find out about it. Okay, this is Jacob. We'll speak at you later.